So let's say you've got this fancy mold for your fancy big ice cubes and uh, it's cool and all, but you've got it and it's all cloudy whenever you make it. That's stupid, right? Nobody likes that. That's not attractive. So let's uh, try to make some clear ice. How about that? So this spinning ice on the left here is what we want, right? So that's cool. It's attractive. Not perfect, but it's a pretty huge improvement. So uh, yeah, so you might be asking, how do we do that? Well, I'll tell you. All right, so this is the basics of what you're going to need. You're going to need uh, an ice tray, a cooler of some kind. This is like $7 at Walmart. Go ahead and get one for which you can remove the top because it has to be open in the freezer for this to work. And also something to suspend your ice tray in the cooler. So with the ice tray, uh, this is like a Tavolo uh, silicone ice tray. And as you can see, I've cut these holes in them. Uh, that's very important to the procedure. You have to do this. And what that means, you're never going to use this tray for anything except this procedure. But I think you'll be pleased with the results from this and it is absolutely vital to the procedure that you cut those holes in each of the reservoirs per cube. And so otherwise uh, you also have these CBPC pieces. Um, you can also use like copper or something like that or really anything that you think uh, will hold and not create any off flavors in there. Uh, in the ice, but uh, so what those are for are to suspend your ice tray. So you're gonna wanna put some water in there and sort of tilt the, each of these up like that as I'm demonstrating here, so as to evacuate any air if you're using uh, copper or CBPC like I am here. Then you'll be plopping your ice tray in there and uh, it might sink a little bit, but that's sort of the point. You'll want to fill the uh, cooler up and that will start filling the ice tray as well as it sinks. And you'll want to keep filling it up to the very top of the ice tray, but not any higher. After that, you'll want to drop all this into some freezer that's big enough to hold all this crap and then wait about 24 hours for it to mostly freeze completely from top to bottom. And here's our result. Uh, you can see uh, when it's in the freezer and it's just an open body of water, all these little crystals and stuff form around it. But those will end up gone pretty quickly as you pull everything out and it melts just a little bit. Um, so you have to get your ice tray out. I recommend doing that rather than pulling out individual cubes. It may take some hammering and maybe a pick of some kind, uh, but shouldn't be too hard as long as you don't let it freeze completely. And that's why you should only do it for about 24 hours. And uh, you can pluck out your ice cubes, and here's here's the result. Pretty freaking clear. And then I drop these into an insulated ice bucket, uh, so I can put them in the freezer like that to be stored and used as we need them. All right, so what's going on here? Why is this work and uh, why is my solution different from some of the other solutions that you might have seen? So in general, the problem with cloudy ice is that air is getting trapped inside of the cube. And so most of the time when you freeze, you know, just a regular cube in an ice tray, what's happening is all that air is getting trapped at sort of the middle because the ice cube, uh, the ice crystals are forming from the outside inward. Um, and, and so it, it uh, starts freezing from the outside and then slowly the crystals form closer and closer. And then you get this slurry of air and stuff in the center of your cube where the air is getting trapped. Um, other solutions that are kind of like mine um, with the cooler and whatnot, uh, what's going on is, you know, it's insulated from every side except for the top. So all the, uh, you know, cold air is coming from the top and that's how the crystals form. They, they freeze from the, the top of inside the cubes and also outside of the reservoir and just go down and so forth. But with those that don't have the hole, what's happening is that air is just getting trapped in the bottom of your ice cube. Um, so then you still have cloudiness, it's just at the very bottom of the cube. And you know, if you wanna do that and like shave off that part of the cube, then that's a good solution, but that's an extra bit of work. Um, so to avoid that work, um, what I've done is I put the holes in the uh, tray and so what's happening in my solution is ice crystals are forming and they're going down and they're going down as it freezes. And rather than being trapped in the bottom, that air is getting pushed outside of the reservoir of the tray 
and pushed into the greater reservoir of the cooler because you know it's suspended so there's still a little bit of water down there um, and then you just pull that out uh, and whether it freezes on the bottom it doesn't matter what but what matters is that the fully formed cube in your tray is frozen and it's pushed out almost all of that air if not all of that air so that's the basic idea of why i think this is a good and semi-easy like repeatable solution on how to make this ice over and over again without having to um, go through many other steps Alrighty, let's move on to practical application this is a negroni it's one of my favorite recipes uh, it's equal parts sweet vermouth, London dry gin, and Campari. I'm doing one ounce of each here in my little beaker. And uh, it also has a garnish of an orange peel. So I uh, just wanted to do this video because I thought it was a cool trick. Um, and I'll link in the description where I discovered this idea. Um, and also, uh, um, just started this channel. I'm doing a few things on it. So if you like what I'm doing here, uh, feel free to subscribe and comment and tell me why I'm fat or stupid or why I'm completely wrong or why boiling works so much better or something like that. Feel free to comment uh, down below or above or wherever it is when you watch this video. And uh, yeah, um, thanks for checking out the video.